So I'm gonna have to make him pay, and if he doesn't want to pay... Oh, shit! Oh, what the f... What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jerutastic with episode number 14 of LSPDFR. I am so excited. Today's a rainy day in Blaine County. We are rolling in the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Uh, just as you can expect, you know, uh, it's a Tahoe, older model Tahoe. Uh, I haven't rolled an older model Tahoe in a while, so let's do it, man. I'm very excited for this episode. It's a rainy, rainy episode, rainy day here in Los Santos. Usually we get some crazy ass calls here in Blaine County and even crazier traffic stops. So uh, thank you for tuning in and let's get it started. All right, security guard requesting assistance in Harmony. Uh, for these calls, I actually like to just read the call details because it usually tells you private security guard contracted to patrol arm. Uh, Route 68 was called to the location. A protester is refusing to leave the site. Uh, all right, so it's just a protester refusing to leave the site. Uh, we, they said respond code too, so we'll just go ahead and uh, and make our way over there right now. Um, yeah, man, uh, those security call uh, guard calls could go any way, any way you can think of. I would have stopped that guy if I was in the call for just cutting through me like that. Let's just go ahead and uh, get to that call, see what's going on. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend coming up. It's July, end of July already, man. The summer is almost done, man. That's crazy. I live, uh, I live in Minneapolis, so those winters, man. You don't need me to tell you about these winters, guys, so... If anybody's in the Midwest, give your boy a shout out in the comment section below. Let me know where you guys are from. I would love to know where you guys are watching me from. Let me know in the comment section below what country or what state you are from. And I'll happily, happily be, uh, happily to reply back to you. I was just reading that. That's why I got distracted. All right, we're almost there anyway. All right, sir. Let's move out of my way a little bit. This style was a little heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I was just saying, this style was a little heavy. And, uh, but it's beautiful. It doesn't have the weak whack lighting, unfortunately, for the headlights. I'm not sure why, but we're almost there. We'll go ahead and just go, go down to uh, our secondary lights. All right, let's see what's going on. Here we are in Harmony. Make contact with the security guard. Let's go ahead and just put our... I don't, I'm not sure why. Why is my light not working? Anyways, my light is not working for some reason. Go ahead and make contact with the security guard first. Let's see what's going on here. Hello, sir. It's Jertasic with the sheriff's department. What's going on? Can you tell me a little more about what's going on? Officer, this person is having a negative impact on business. All right. Customers are leaving without entering the store because of their intimidating language. Can we run a business here? Apparently not. What can you do about that? All right, sir, hang on for me. I'll be right back with you. Let me see what her deal is. Uh, what does it say? This is outrage. You're to blame. It looks like a hippie dippy ass girl right here. Hello, ma'am. Uh, what is going on here? What's... Talk to me. This is officer. This is an unacceptable intrusion on my right to protest. This That man comes all the way out here to disrupt the peaceful protest. This is simply not acceptable. I will continue my protest. All right, well, ma'am, the problem with that is you are in the parking lot, you are on private property, and even if you do want to protest in the street, in certain scenarios, you do need a license from the city. So I, you can't just be standing on people's parking lots and just protesting. I understand an American could do that. So uh, let me see your ID here real quick. Now, right, her name is, her name, what? I guess it does say female in the bottom left, as you can see, so. It's not a false, false ID. She's an interesting individual. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. I'm glad I wasn't around her. Let's go ahead and check her out, see if she got anything on her. I didn't mean to search her, but her license is expired. I'm going to have to ask her to leave if she, if she, uh, so go ahead. She's leaving. There's no need to arrest her, even though she is trespassing, um, because she did leave the scene. All right, sir. So, she did leave the scene. Just let me get your ID for my report as well. 
Uh, we'll check him out anyways, because... Oh, ah, I need... To, we'll check him out because sometimes you never know. We'll take a statement from him. His license is suspended, but he's not driving. I hope he's not driving that car. I didn't see him drive at least. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a statement. We'll be on our way. So, yeah, like, uh, like I was telling you, I mean... She can protest, but she has to be away from the business. She can't be just a private property protesting and shit. While he does a statement, I see her. I want to make sure that she she moved around. If not, then she will be... Let's see. Yeah, she's walking. Because if not, we were going to have to arrest her for trespassing. But she kept walking, so we're good to go on this call. Uh, and uh, glad it was resolved safely. On to the next one. You can give me the statement. You want to give me the statement? All right. All right, we can end this call, guys. I even see Weasel News over there on the side. Uh, this must be a business. Is he driving? He is not driving, dude. He is about to get out of jail. You better not be fucking driving, bro. This guy better not. No, no. Oops. He better not. He better be somebody else that's driving. Oh, that, this is unbelievable. I think the security guard we're just talking to just ran on us. That's why I asked for his ID and ran his name and he got a suspended license and now this, this motherfucker's running. What the fuck? Oh man, alright, well we're on a pursuit and a harmony heading westbound. This, this stuff was heavy, it is raining. We'll go ahead and call another unit here. Just, just make sure that... Uh, there they are right there. Just make sure, um, I don't want automatic tactics because that's gonna make him go nuts. We'll go ahead and request another person here. I uh, hope they don't hit me. I got, uh, Smarter Cops plug-in that makes, makes him not go ape shit when we're on a pursuit. So I hope that's not the case right here. This is just unbelievable. They just took off on me like that. We don't, I don't want to pit him just yet. He's not really driving too radically. We're about 60 miles an hour now, pulling up to about 80 miles an hour. Um, get another unit up here. Not sure where this guy thinks he's going. We're heading towards the military base. Where the hell are? Where the hell's my backup? Not sure where my backup is, but like I said, oh whoa 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 whoa! He's not going too fast, but. I think it's because this car is not allowing, allowing him to go too fast. But this is just insane. That is just crazy. Let's see if we can... Oh, oh shit, did not mean to do that. But That's why we got the Tahoe, I guess, right? This is just crazy. It's probably going to be... Uh... Oh, no, he, he's still going for it. Oh no, now the towel's stuck. It's slippery, sweat is slippery. Oh my god. I did not mean to bump him off the road like that. I meant to uh Oh shit. Oh my god, did not see that. Okay, I think he scored her in. Perfect job guys. Perfect job. No 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 Guys you did a good job, come on. Somebody box him in. Sheriff's Department, put your fucking hands up, get out the car. Get out the fucking car right now. Get out of the fucking car. On the floor. So I guess it's not the same person. He might have even just stole that ride too. He might have just stole that ride. It's not even a security guard. What the hell are you running, huh? Chuck Yorby. Chuck Yorby. Move him to the side here real quick. Go check him out. Search him too while we're at it. He got wire cutters, so he's a thief indeed. Have a seat for me here, Chuck. I don't know what the hell his problem is, but he definitely did steal that car then because that security guard was there. He just pulled up behind us. It might have been a customer inside or something because he came out of nowhere. Um, and the car now was gone. I was going to search it, but I guess. Chuck, now tell me why would you steal a security guard car right in front of my eyes take off on me like nobody's gonna notice what the hell you're doing have you been drinking tonight is that is that what it is let's check him out see if he's been drinking tonight 
No, he has not. Do you have any drugs in your system? He is positive for cannabis. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to charge him with that, to be honest with you. Or driving under the influence is what I mean. Did I just put him in the back of my car? <laughs> oh. Get in the car for me here, Chuck. Okay, I don't know why they always go on the other side. So let's go ahead and file these charges on Chuck here. Since he wants to be a badass and steal a fucking police car right in front of the police. I mean a security car. car. Alright, Chuck, if you're not aware, you are under arrest and you're going to jail for uh, Grand Theft Auto. Um, and uh, evading and resisting arrest as well. And you have uh, possession of burglary tools on you. I don't know why you have wire cutters. But if you put one and one together, you stole a car, got wire cutters. I'm assuming you are a thief. All right, as you can see, guys, here's what he got charged with. He got charged with a possession of a stolen vehicle, which I'll get back to that in just a second. Possession of burglary tools, resisting arrest, evading arrest, carjacking. Now, I'll let the judge, as always, I put these charges on. Some of them might get dropped. I'll let the judge and the prosecutors decide if... If this is more of a possession of a stolen vehicle. Actually, you know what? I'll take that because in real life, he's, he, he jacked a car. He didn't. He wasn't in possession of it. He just literally straight up jacked it. So it kind of falls under it. So he's going with three counts of felony and uh, one kind of misdemeanor here. Um, four charges of racks against him. We'll get this guy transported and we'll call that a day. Call that a, not a day. Call that a call here. <laughs> All right, indecent exposure call. Let's make that be uh, our last call of the day right here. See what the hell's going on with this guy. Why is he? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but I hope it's it's probably the airplane because these airplanes always crash. We don't need to go. Oh my God, dude! Do you not? Oh my God! And when you go when you go only on your secondary light, they don't like obey you. It has to be like full out lights for them to obey. You. Let's see, this guy is right here, it seems like. Is that him right there? Yep, that's our subject right there. Uh, yeah, that's definitely decent exposure. Let's just get out of here. Sir! Sir! LSPD. Don't make me I'm gonna have to press Y to talk to the suspect on the scene. Let me go ahead and cuff him first and then we'll talk to him all day. Obviously, I'm not talking to him with uh, with his dick hanging out in the middle of the street. That's uh, that's a no-no. <laughs> uh, yeah, he looked like he was pretty drunk. All right, Andrew, what's we'll up? Can you tell me what's going on today? Why are you in the middle of the street? Just uh, cause like to see me like this, don't you, officer? So you're a little. F to let the suspect know they're under arrest. Press L to offer them right home. Uh, no. You're under arrest. So what? So what? You're a fucking child molester or what? Uh, walking around like that. You say kids like to see you like that. Uh, you're definitely going to jail tonight. Uh, you got a pocket knife. I don't know how. Maybe he has it in his fucking ass crack or something. But And um, based on how you just go in the middle of the street, I might just charge you with drunken publicness if you are drunk. Are you on any drugs right now? Because the way you're walking was uh, pretty suspicious. Yeah, I posit for cocaine. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get, get this fella in my car here. And you got a pocket knife on him. Something you should have let me know about. Depends how big it is. It, needs to, it cannot be concealed in the state that I do live in. And like I always say, I always, on laws like this, I go in the states that I live in. Let's check him out. We got a reckless driver call, but we need to wrap up with this guy right here. All right, Vincent. Um, you are going to jail. I'll read your charges in just a little bit here. Okay, guys. Uh, we got to charge him with indecent exposure. Um, we could charge him with unlawful assembly, but... We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. But uh, uh, drunk in public, well, he wasn't really drunk. He was more of a high, I guess. 
and nothing here unfortunately nothing about uh about a pocket knife so he'll get decent exposure and uh he'll be going to jail for that all right well we've got a ref customer refusing to pay here we'll take the uh mount chili we'll go ahead and get this guy transported and go to the customer refusing to pay call and call it call it a day here I want to thank you guys very much for watching me uh please make sure you do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel it means a great great deal to me I do my best to give you guys the most realistic LSPDR4 experience. And I do my best to give you guys quality video and even quality audio. <laughs> so with all that being said, thank you guys for choosing Jerry Tastic for your LSPDR4 entertainment. We get this guy transported, go on our last call and call it a day. Really do appreciate your love, guys. Alright, he's gone and let's go to our last call here. See what's going on. In North Chumash. All right, guys, we are uh, we're almost there here. See what's going on here. We don't need our lights right now. I don't think we do. And uh, there are the subjects. Let's see what's going on. Why is this gentleman refusing to pay? Good evening, guys. What's going on here? Could uh, an officer? Great. Uh huh. So I was eating my meal when I spotted a hair in it. Horrible. Hygiene standards have dropped to a new low. Can you show me the food or have some proof? Alright. Um, no, I thought you'd believe me. <laughs> so. So I'm going to have to make him pay and if he doesn't want to pay... Oh, shit! Oh, what the... F just like that man just like that now what do you call that guys is this how we're gonna end our episode today this is a shocking shocking way to end the episode all right what can i have possibly done different in that situation i'm talking about a customer that's refusing to pay well how could he possibly take his knife out stab me twice in less than two seconds which could happen which could happen but in stuff like that what am i i'm there on a simple call to ask what the hell is going on I'm talking to him, telling him, hey, you have to pay this guy or I'm going to arrest you. And he pulls a knife and kills me. I try to run away, but it wasn't happening. But I guess that's how we're going to have to end our episode today, guys. You let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of that? What could I have done wrong? I mean, I and in case like this, it's not like you're going to go in too cautious, guns drawn. So you guys, let me, <laughs> let me know what, if I've done something wrong or if this is just unrealistic. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I guess it's going to be our episode. Officer Jurtesic has died in this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please do hit the like button and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. With all that being said, my name is Jurtesic and I am out.